Welcome to Jason Mitchell Outdoors Television. Join us as we showcase some of the greatest hunting and fishing opportunities across the Midwest. There we got him. Oh! There's a fish. Oh! Just like Look at that. that. <laughs> Thanks All so right. much. That's a beauty. Got it. Oh. Today's show is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Yardcraft Boats, Evinrude BRP, Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods, North Dakota Tourism, Legendary, Cooper Chevrolet, Clam Ice Fishing, Northland Fishing Tackle, U.S. Reel, Trigger X, Salmo Fishing Lures, and Bionic Line. Don't miss this week's episode of Jason Mitchell Outdoors as we travel to northern Minnesota and fish Leech Lake there for Jumbo Perch with Northland Fishing Tackle's Eric Nag. There. Wow. <laughs> Join us later in the show as we travel to northeastern South Dakota in that glacial lakes area and cast Samuel Hornets up into flooded timber with our good friend Dennis Kasuba where we catch there. several walleyes. That fish just stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Jason Mitchell Outdoors online at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com or become a fan on Facebook. Did you see that cast? Right in between them two trees and I weaved her back through it. Man, <clears throat> there's one. There you go. Little guy. There's a fish. Whoa, this is a better fish here, Dennis. Good, good. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that fun? They just stop them. Yeah, yes they do. Nice fish. Yeah, whoa. Boy, do they got spunk in them, huh? <laughs> that is good stuff. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's what we're here for. Uh, welcome to this episode of Jason Mitchell Outdoors. I tell you what, you know, it used to be, I remember as a young man guiding, you know, on Devil's Lake where I'm from, we'd cast crankbaits a lot to catch wallies in shallow water all summer long. And as a guide, you know, people look at you, you know, a lot of times we didn't have bait in the boat and they'd roll their eyes at you because they didn't believe that you catch walleye shallow all summer. Today's show takes us to the northeastern South Dakota and that glacial lakes and a lot of the same patterns are happening down here. Shallow walleyes, middle of summer, a lot of times three, four feet of water and they're busting these crankbaits hard and it's just a lot of fun. It's one of the funnest ways there is to catch a walleye. We've got a lot more fishing action coming right ahead. Dennis, it seems like a lot of times you get in the middle of the day, the sun's high, the water temperature's going through the roof. You get these algae blooms, a lot of times the fishing seems to get better as that algae bloom develops and it's almost like an umbrella, isn't it? Yeah, yeah actually, you know, and it gathers in groups and gets thicker and thicker in some areas. And although it's not the cleanest or funnest thing to fish, it's very effective. So many times on so many bodies of water, I mean, not just down in here, but on Devil's Lake, Mille Lacs, Northern Minnesota, where you get that algae bloom per se, and it isn't uncommon to find you know, fish in you know, a few feet of water, or high in the water column, right underneath that algae bloom. Yep. There yep. you go. Boy, that's a good fish, Dennis. Yep. When you get close here, I'll net them for you. Here. Ooh. Their temperature is up there. <laughs> yeah. they, they really want to they really okay. pull on her. There we go. Thanks, man. Yeah, what's the surface temperature? We were talking earlier, 80 degrees. 80. These fish have a fever. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Just nice and, fish. Uh, Probably oh, what? Oh, yeah. 17 and a half, 18 inch. Yeah, but just nice fish and most importantly, fish with an attitude. And healthy looking. Look yeah, at them. They're beautiful. Beautiful fish. Oh. Oh, I just had one hit it. Oh, there you go. 
There you go, Dennis. There's a fish. There we go. Nice one, Jace. Just a nice, nice eater. You're frying up fish. Oh yeah, yeah. Just a nice fish. Whoa, he's not hooked very good here. You want me to net him? Yeah. Why don't you, Dennis? Because I'm fishing. <laughs> you don't want to put your rod down. Oh, they're biting pretty good. <laughs> if you can feed there. three I'll take people her from with here. that one. Yeah. That isn't enough. Tell them to put a potato in. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Yeah. And what a fun way to catch them too. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of good stuff out there as far as presentations and fun ways to catch fish. But boy, I tell you what, casting cranks has got to be about one of them. And we're using what has become one of my favorite lures. And that's this lure right here. And get them unhooked now. Called the Samuel Hornet. We catch so many walleyes on this. We're, you know, whether we're in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, come midsummer, once that water temperature warms up to maybe 65, 60 degrees or so, these Selmel Hornets really, really catch walleyes. We'll be right there back with more South Dakota walleyes right after this commercial break. The glacial lakes and prairies of northeastern South Dakota is a sportsman's paradise with over 100 glacial lakes. World-class walleye fishing, jumbo perch, smallmouth bass, pheasants, and more. Discover an affordable family vacation with beautiful state parks, family attractions, and great events. Weekly fishing reports and travel information can be found on their website at www.sdglaciallakes.com. Request your free Northeastern South Dakota Sportsman's Packet by calling 1-800-244-8860. Almost had to figure eight that I got, I got to see him fly his gills, Jason. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ready? Yep. I think so. There we go. And this pattern that we're fishing, Dennis, is pretty typical of these flooded prairie lakes. Fishing the flooded timber day in and day out on a lot of these lakes. This flooded timber is a pretty good bed, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I personally think, Jason, there's X amount of fish that never leave the timber. Mm -hmm. And even through the ice. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've seen that on Devil's Lake. Yeah, and this is very similar to that. And, and what we're doing is we're just going along with the trolling motor. And the, these flooded trees, I mean, these trees are probably 50, 60 years old. So that tells you how long these trees have been out of the water. And so this high water, there's probably 12, 15 feet of water in the middle of this lake. And every one of these lakes are different, but there's no shortage of flooded timber in a lot of these lakes. And these trees are in six, seven, eight, nine. 10 feet of water, somewhere in deeper water than that. Yeah. We're just going along, we're just casting these Samo Hornets, which have a very hard, wide vibration that triggers fish, but it works really well whenever you get this algae green water. These walleyes can find these baits, they put out such a tremendous vibration, and you're just casting and bumping these logs, bumping these sticks with these crankbaits, and these big walleyes are just coming up and grabbing them. You want me to net it for you? Oh, I can grab him, but he can't be one. That way I don't have to worry about getting hooked up. Well, here, why don't you grab him? There, nice fish. Easy, buddy. Easy. You know, you never really fought coming in. Now he's ready. That'll work. There we go. Nice one. Yeah, look at that. Fish dig. <laughs> oh, Isn't I'd like fun? to cast, but I better not. Isn't that fun? Wow. Yeah, just another nice walleye. These walleyes have so much attitude, too. Whoa. There we go. 
That fish just stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't a doubt in your mind. Whoever said walleyes don't. Well, it kind of breaks every old wives tale there is about walleye fishing. As far as sunlight hurting their eyes, walleyes getting fussy and finicky in the middle of summer. These walleyes are about as aggressive as you're gonna find in a few feet of water. And as the day progresses and it's gotten hotter, I think the bite's actually gotten better. See that Salmo Hornet right in that fish's mouth? Of course, you know, we don't have, it's dirty water, so that's a big advantage of the yeah. sun. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, this water, the old cliche of, you know, fishy and pea soup, I mean, that's what it's like. But, you know, that's the thing to remember, too, is you can come out on these lakes in the middle of summertime and you get these algae blooms, and a lot of times the algae blooms will improve the fishing in the sense you're gonna find fish in really shallow water a lot of times. The only thing you gotta worry about is that algae falling up or sliming up your presentation. That's where these Samo hornets come in. They vibrate so hard that they actually shake a lot of that debris right off the hooks. Yeah, that fish just, just stopped. You had a hit too right there? Yeah. <laughs> what I would love to know is how many walleyes are in some of these places. Yeah. You want me to net that, Jason? Sure, why don't you okay. come on up here and net it. It's been a great day of fishing, Dennis. I can't thank you enough. Whoa. Well, this is just an incredible area. Yeah. Tremendous walleye fishing, smallmouth bass, there's panfish, there's northern pike. Not to mention a lot of pheasants, waterfowl, just sportsman's paradise. If you'd like to find out more information about fishing this glacial lakes area of South Dakota, we'll post some information at the bottom of the screen to help plan your trip. South Dakota Glacial Lakes and Prairies Association has all the information you need, whether it's lodging, guide services, resorts, uh, just different accommodations, and a lot of other things to do besides hunting fish. We'll see you next week on Jason Mitchell Outdoors. Follow Jason Mitchell Outdoors online at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com or become a fan on Facebook. Jason Mitchell Outdoors has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. <laughs>